In today's devlog, we're taking a look at the boss room in a tutorial for Billy's Nightmare, in which Billy will meet the main villain of the game. But more about that later. First, I wanna show you this great option that we have added at the beginning of the tutorial. Some players might not want to play through the training part of the tutorial. Either they already know how to play, or they want to figure it out on their own. So, if you don't want to play through the training part, we have now added a way to skip it altogether. After you first meet Mr. Sandman, you get the question if you want to play the tutorial or not. If you choose yes, everything will continue as normal, and you will visit all the rooms that I've shown you in the previous devlogs. But if you choose no, Mr. Sandman will run up to the gate instead and wait for Billy. And at this point, the story will continue like you've just backtracked from the training. After Billy and Mr. Sandman runs up through the gate, an invisible force pushes Mr. Sandman out again and locks the gate. Mr. Sandman then mysteriously wonders if he is here. And at this point, the player has to continue alone. Like I've said before, we don't want to show the boss or boss fight until the release of the demo. So, for this video, I have disabled some stuff, so we can take a look at the room. As you can see, we have now added some extra large nightmare tentacles for this room. And we did it for two reasons. Firstly, it looks cool and makes the room feel more special, like this is the source of evil. And secondly, we needed to make sure that the player takes the left path so the cutscene would work later. So, the tentacles also guides the player to take the correct path while blocking the other. And once you have reached the top, the tentacles make sure that you can't run down again during the fight. And here's Mr. Sandman's dreamcatcher that you will have to save from the boss. Will you succeed or not? Well, you will have to play the demo to find out. So, besides some ambient sounds and music, the tutorial is now finished. And with the tutorial finished, we now have to spend some time making final adjustments and polishing the game. We also have some technical stuff to fix. Like saving the player's progress, so the game remembers how many stars you have found. Which outfits you have unlocked. If you have completed the tutorial and so on. We also have to save settings in the menu, such as your keybindings. Because now, everything gets reset every time you start the game. And besides the technical stuff, we also have some things to fix with the game design. One of the things that we have to figure out is what should happen when Billy dies in the nightmare. At the moment, you have to open the menu and restart the game manually, which feels a bit weird. We also have to give different prices to all the abilities in the game. Now, they all have the same price, and that's not very interesting. The demo also needs a good ending or cliffhanger. Now, the game just restarts itself, and that's a bit boring. We also have to decide what to do with Santa's elf. He was added back in Devlog 5 as an NPC that could reforge your weapons in the shop. The problem is that in Devlog 10, we decided to remove the concept of having weapons, and instead added abilities to the game. And since the abilities are so different from each other, it might be difficult to reforge them. It's not as easy as increasing the damage like we did with the weapons, because all abilities doesn't even have damage. So now, Santa's elf just stands there in the shop, with nothing to do. But we still like him as a character, so it would feel wrong to remove him from the game. It would be great if we could come up with a new purpose for him. So, what do you think? What purpose shall Santa's elf have now? Let me know down in the comments. This was everything for this devlog, so subscribe for more, join us on Discord, and I'll see you in the next video.